In this video, we're going to see how do we do hypothesis test for proportions. So our first example says, 1,500 randomly selected pine trees were tested for traces of the bark beetle infestation. It was found that 153 of the trees showed such traces. Test the hypothesis that less than 10% of the Tahoe trees have been infested using a 5% level of significance. All right, let's write down what we know. We know that our sample size was 1,500, so that's N. And then the number that have the infestation, which is X, is 153. So P hat, or our proportion with this infestation, is going to be the 153 over the 1,500, so 0.102. And then we're told that our alpha is 5%. So alpha is 0.05. Okay. So we need our hypotheses. We need our H0 and our H sub 0, or H0 and our H sub A. So it says, test the hypothesis that less than 10% of the Tahoe trees have been infested. So the claim is that less than 10% have been infested. And we're talking about proportion, so that's P. So our claim is that P is less than 0 0.10. That's our claim. And the complement of it will be that P is greater than or equal to 0 0.10. So the claim goes in H0 because it's just the less than sign. The claim is that the proportion is less than 10%. And then our complement, which is H0, is greater than or equal to 10%. All right, so we always look at H sub A just to, to see what type of test this is. And since H sub A is pointing to the left, this is going to be a left tail test. Another way you can think of it is we always assume H0 to be true. So we always assume H0 to be true. So we're assuming that the proportion infected is greater than or equal to 10%. And the way you would contradict that we have 10% or more of the trees infected is if we have way less, way fewer than 10%. So a very small number, which is on the left side, is going to make us doubt that 10% or more of the trees have been infected. All right, so we have our standard normal distribution visualized in our heads, and we're looking at the left side because it is a left tail test. First thing we need to do is get our test statistic Z. So our test statistic is Z. We get it by looking at our P hat minus the assumed value of P, which is 0.10, close parenthesis, divided by the square root of P, which is 0.10, times Q, which is the complement of P, so it's going to be 0.90, divided by N, which was 1,500. So our test statistic is 0.258199. And now we need to get our p-value. So since this is the left tail test, the p-value is going to be the area to the left of our z-score, or our test statistic. So to get that, we need to use our norm dist function. Norm dist always tells us the area to the left. So we're going to do equals norm dist of our p-value, comma 0, comma 1, because we're working with the standard normal distribution, comma true. We always use true for the norm dist function. So our p-value is 0 0.60187. So our last step is to compare our p-value to alpha. Our p is 0 0.6, our alpha is 0 0.05. So since our p-value is way bigger than alpha, our decision is going to be to fail to reject h naught. So anytime our p-value turns out to be greater than alpha, our decision is to fail to reject H0. So we need to write all of this in a complete sentence. So we would need to say something to the effect of at alpha equals 0 0.05, there is not enough evidence to reject that our p is greater than or equal to 0.10. That's what we assume to be true. So since there's not enough evidence to reject our H0, and our claim is down in H sub A, since we're not rejecting H0, that means we think H0 is true, which means we think H sub A is probably false. So the formal way to say this is that there is not enough evidence to support the claim that the proportion is less than 10 percent. 
So at alpha equals 0.05, our decision is felt to reject H0, so there's not enough evidence to reject H0, which means there's not enough evidence to support H sub A where our claim is. So there is not enough evidence to support the claim that the proportion of trees infected with this bark beetle is less than 10%. All right, let's do another one. Suppose that you interview 1,000 exiting voters about who they voted for for governor. Of the 1,000 voters, 550 reported that they voted for the Republican candidate. Is there sufficient evidence to suggest that the Republican candidate will win the election at the 0.01 level? All right, so in our sample size, 1,000. Our number of successes, which in this case is people voting for the Republican candidate, is 550. So our P hat is going to be 550 over 1,000. And then we're told that alpha is 0.01. So we're trying to see, is there sufficient evidence to suggest that the Republican candidate will win? Well, in order to win, you need more than half the vote. So you need greater than 0.5. So that is just a greater than sign. It's going to go in H sub A, saying that in order to win, we need more than 0.5 of the vote. That's our claim. So the complement H naught is going to be P is less than or equal to 0.5. And this is what we assume to be true. We always assume that H naught is true, regardless of where the claim is. So we're going to assume that this candidate gets 50% or fewer of the votes, and we want to do the test to see if that comes out true or if the test comes out to support the claim that the Republican candidate will get more than half the votes and win the election. Okay. So since our H0 is pointing to the right, this is going to be a right-held test. Another way to think about it is we're assuming that they're getting 50% or less of the votes. The way you contradict 50% or less is by having a much, much bigger number, which is on the right-hand side. So let's get our test statistic Z. Z is found by looking at our P hat minus the assumed value of P, which is 0.5, close parenthesis, divided by the square root of P, which is 0.5, times Q, which is also 0.5, since 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5, over n. So our z, our test statistic is 3.16. Then to get our p-value, since this is a right-held test, we're looking at the area on the right. So in order to find the area to the right of this point, we have to do 1 minus norm dist of our test statistic comma 0 comma 1 comma true. So the area to the right of this point is, what did I do wrong? Norm dist of our, oh, I forgot a comma. It makes a difference. All right. So norm dist of our point, comma, 0, comma, 1, comma, true. So the area to the right is 0. 0.0007. So now we can compare our p-value to alpha, and we see that our p-value is much less than our alpha. And this tells us when our p-value is less than alpha, we're going to reject h naught. So we are rejecting H0, and what we can say about this is at alpha equals 0 0.01, there is enough evidence to support the claim. Since we're rejecting H0, that means H0 is false, so H sub A is true, and since our claim is in H sub A, it is true. So there is enough evidence to support the claim that the Republican candidate will win the election. And that's our test.